Well, to some breaking news now, and Nepal has been hit by another killer earthquake, shaking buildings in the capital, Kathmandu. That's where two Adelaide mothers are on a mission to help 55 orphans stranded after the first deadly quake. And they've told Nine News of the terror they've just experienced. Joe Boucher and Lynn Rawson flew into quake-ravaged Kathmandu to help dozens of orphans. They thought the worst was over. Um, I was inside and um, we just, the whole building started shaking and um, managed to get all the kids out. I don't know, I mean, windows were banging, the whole building just, just shook. It's rumbling all the time. It's, it's just like on the boat. <laughs> Panic in Nepal has once again set in. The strong earthquake measured 7.3 in magnitude at a depth of 15 kilometres, shaking structures in the capital Kathmandu. It hit close to the Everest base camp and was felt in parts of India and Afghanistan. Base camp had to be evacuated after a deadly avalanche was triggered by the Anzac Day quake. So far, the death toll is more than 8,000. The impact of this new tremor, frighteningly unknown. Here they've said it's 7.4. From where we are, where I am right now, I could see some buildings go down. Um, uh, how badly, I don't know. We're just, at the moment, just moving the kids. The Poldney mothers have vowed to stay with the children until their planned return in June. They're frightened. They're, um, they're really frightened. They're uh, in tears and uh, lots of them holding on to each other. And, yeah, they're, they're pretty scared. Yeah, they're, they're frightened, and, as, as all of us are, to be honest. Rory McLaren, Nine News.